All right, in our next thought, we now have this nice formula about how loud it sounds. Take the power of what you said divided by the area that it has to cover. Is it a cracker or is it a larger piece of bread? All right, now let's take a look at the units for this. So if we look at the units, power, of course, is measured in watts. And then areas, surface areas, are meters squared. So it's kind of the power per the amount of area it has to cover. And that's how we, uh, uh, um, that's how we t uh, understand intensity, whether something's loud or soft. And everybody has an intrinsic knowledge of what that really means. All right, now, the formula is actually somewhat interesting. Suppose we're standing right here at this spot listening at this particular spot. And the distance from where it came out of my mouth or the music speaker or whatever's propagating the sound, you know, in the car or whatever it is, all right, let's say that distance is R. So here we have a nice little formula for that power divided by 4 pi, and then R would be whatever that value is. Now, suppose I change where I'm standing. Suppose I'm standing out here. Notice that the distance that I'm away from it is farther. Let's say it's double. So the distance from where I propagated the sound, made the sound, is now 2R. So I'll draw a circle around there like so, and voila, the sphere, when it arrives, has spread out, is quite a bit bigger. All right, so let's take a look at what we would write here. So the intensity of the sound is equal to the power. Well, the power is how loud it was when it came out of my mouth. How powerful was it? That doesn't change whatever came out of my mouth, depending on where you're sitting. The power is what I did coming out of my mouth. So what is changing is the radius of the sphere depending upon where you're sitting, not the power that I set it with. All right, so if we look here, we have four pi, and the radius this time is twice the size, which is two r, and then squared. So if we go ahead and figure out i now, and we've got the power divided by four pi, and then we end up with two squared, all right, which is four r squared, like so. All right, now four times four is 16. So we end up with 16 pi r squared. So what is the intensity of the sound now that we're standing twice as far 